Welcome back everyone. This is Kathy with Bridges Stamping. This week we're going to be working with the Snowflake Wishes stamp set and matching dies. It's part of my Christmas in July celebration. Uh, check out my YouTube channel for some other videos in this series. Today we're going to be making this card and then if you hang out to the end of the video I have six very different samples to show you all made with this either the stamp set alone or the stamp set and the dies. Now I have already cut out all the supplies. We're going to start with a standard card base uh, with Pool Party as the color. I've cut out a couple of snowflakes with the dies um, from some glitter paper in my stash. Um, you'll be happy to know that in the celebration catalog, which starts in August, there is glitter paper. Um, as soon as I get my pre-order, I'll be able to show you some samples because I got a lot of paper in my pre-order. Um, it hasn't shipped yet. I'm hoping to have a video with that soon. I've already cut a standard card base out of basic white, and then I use this largest die from uh, the die set to cut this out. It's a really cool set because you can make shaker cards with this. This is kind of like a, a faux shaker that we've got going on here. here. And I've already done the inside, so we can just glue that in when we're ready. So let's start actually by stamping the card base. You'll notice that the sentiment is inside, it's inset. So how did I do that? I actually used my Stamparatus, and as I, I may have said in my Stamparatus video, I've used this a lot more than I thought I would. It just makes it really easy to make, um, to get your sentiment straight. Uh, if you mess up, you can um, do it again. So let's see, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. We're just gonna measure where this is gonna go when I do that. And then I'm gonna take May Your Season Sparkle, and we're gonna put it where we want it to go. So this way we can be sure it fits. Pick it up with my Stamparatus. Pick it up with a Stamparatus. Okay, and then we're gonna move the base out of the way. And then I used um, Bermuda Bay. I did not have Pool Party, um, but I thought they're the same tone and we want a darker color to show up on the Pool Party. Um, once again, if it doesn't stamp correctly, no worries. We can just re-stamp. I think I want that a little darker. Let's do that one more time. Okay. There we go. That's pretty. All right. So we're just going to move that out of the way and the stamparatus out of the way uh, because we don't need this at the moment. We're going to be working on turning this card base into our own sort of designer series paper like I did there. However, I chose some different um, stamps and some different colors. So this is, uh, I believe it's gray granite. And then I took out a fresh freesia because I wanted something interesting. So we're gonna start with, we'll do this one in the Bermuda Bay. And because of the stamping spot, I have to turn it over. Um, to get a little bit of better impression. Basically, you just kind of want to play around. You know, you're making your own designer series paper, and that's what's nice about this stamp set. You can actually um, do a lot of different patterns because there's so many different snowflakes in the stamp set. So I don't know if you know, August 3rd starts the new mini catalog um, demonstrators get to pre-order and they're really I think the theme for this year is cute there are so many cute sets in the catalog um, I can't wait to show them to you as soon as they come in but as I said they haven't shipped yet I also got uh, one of the um, 
sweets from the annual catalog. The name is escaping me, so I can't wait to play with that. So you can, ooh, my seat fell off, that's not good. So you can see as I'm playing, this has got a very different look than on my original, and that's fine. That's the beauty of making your own sort of designer series paper. And as I said, I was trying to talk and do it at the same time, and you know that's difficult. So um, just doing our best to make something interesting. Let me just hold it up to the camera. That's actually really pretty. I love how that came out. Okay, we are going to close up the ink because you and I know if I leave this ink open, my fingers are going to end up in it. They're already a little bit um, inked up a little bit. So we're gonna clean these stamps in a little, in a, a little later. So I'm just gonna attach my, um, grab my glue, just all the way back here. It's part of my hand. We're gonna attach these snowflakes. And basically I just put a little bit of my glue, not covering the snowflake, but the camera. It's hard to do it on camera, just in those little divots there, um, the larger places where I know it's going to meet the cardstock. And then, I mean, it's not completely, some of it's gonna be um, hanging out, but that's okay, it gives it some texture. This one's a little trickier because it's a bit skinnier. Piece in the middle. This is where if I had one of those glue bottles with a thin, thin needle nose tip, it would be useful, but I do not. Maybe I should get one. Liquid glue, you gotta hold it a little bit. And then just put the itty bitty snowflake. I'll show you doing the glue. Ah, that's way too much glue. Okay, and I'll put it over here. All right, and then we're gonna take our card base and I'm trying to get the glue off my hands before I do this. Um, we are going to we're going to fold it. Remember that I have the sentiment actually stamped onto the cardstock. We are going to take my dimensionals and we are going to just make, make sure this is in the camera. I'm going to just line the dimensionals all around. This is where maybe some foam strips might come in handy, which I don't have, but dimensionals work in a pinch. Remember you kind of want them to even as this goes through the mail. I think that works. And then we're going to we're do it like that. Yeah, okay. Just taking off the dimensional backing. Make sure I get them all. Then I have to go find all those this backing pieces. Okay. And then we are just going to center this, center this in our cardstock. And we get this very pretty version of this card. So which one do you like better? The one with the Fresh Fuchsia or the one with just the shades of Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana? And then I'll just glue this on the inside off camera. Don't want this video to get too long. I have a bunch of really cool cards to show you. Um, the first one is I wanted to show you this pinwheel card that I made using the stamp set. And I used this old designer series paper that's no longer available, but that's what gave me the idea to make my own. Here's another um, near season sparkle. I used the silver embossing, some silver paper, and some um, designer series paper. Now this is very classic blue in the silver, but then I wanted to go a little bit different. So this is red and green. Um, I used a gold border, and then I used, this is gorgeous, red and gold, Mayor Season Sparkle, and this is all made with, um, this is the, one, the largest uh, snowflake die in here. Now this card, I didn't use any dies, right? All I needed was stamps, ink, and paper, and that's pretty cool. 
this I mainly used the dye to make an impact. I made this card using um, Gorgeous Grape and Fresh Freesia. And I thought that was really cool for those non-traditional Christmas colors. So there you have all of our cards. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? So July host code is in the description. Um, the holiday catalog is coming soon. If you need a catalog, if you want to, um, if you're looking for a stamping up demonstrator, please send me um, a comment or send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you. Stamp on.